Hey there gamers! Today I woke up and thought about how I could gain the most amount of clout and money on YouTube without spending ages doing it. Well, whatever I thought of, I threw it out and decided to animate stock photos again. But what should I talk about? Well, if you read the title, you already know, and for everybody else, may I introduce you, Wikipedia. Because the website that we all use for school projects work and if we want to know the answer to that stupid question that just won't leave our mind is an entertainment goldmine. You don't believe me? <clears throat> the mosquito laser. This and about 2500 other interesting articles were compiled in the article Unusual Articles. So obviously I will be randomly explaining some of them. Enjoy! There are exactly 2,397 articles in the Unusual Articles article. Damn, there was many articles. But of course, I didn't count that. No. I converted the Unusual Articles page into an Excel table, so I can just look up the number, find the right article, look it up on Wikipedia, easy peasy, I found it. So without further ado, let's get the obvious numbers. The very first article is named Breast Shaped Hills. And what a shock, it's about breast shaped hills. But there's more to it. It appears that the Romans had a great sense of humor or were just really horny, because they named one of their forts in 79 AD Mamukium, which is Celtic and can roughly be translated to breast-shaped hill. The thing is, you probably know that fort already, or at least what grew out of it. The city that stands on the breast-shaped hill today is called Manchester. So oh yeah, the name of the second largest city in Great Britain may have its origin in a Roman tits joke. Going on with number 69, because you know we had to go there, it's Brenner Berg. It's German and roughly translates to Burning Mountain. It's an old coal mine that was set ablaze in 1668 and continues to burn today. The legend of how it got started is that a shepherd lit a fire at a tree stump, which then propagated through the roots and lastly lit the coal seam on fire. But it probably just was a case of spontaneous combustion caused by the pressure and the decomposition as a result of the unplanned coal mining. Although the fire began to weaken at the end of the 18th century, it's still burning today and you can even visit it and feel the warm air coming through the cracks of the mountain. <laughs> I guess that's what Billy Joel meant when he said we didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world's been turning. <laughs> Am I right? Number 420 is Rasnorsk, a pigeon. That's what you call a very simplified middle language between two languages, so people can communicate between them. In this case, it's between Russian and Norwegian. Rasnor started somewhere in the 1780s as a means to trade fish and wheat between the border. But after the Finnish declared their independence from Russia in 1917, the Russians were so sad that they pursued a technique that today is infamous to be used by the edgy teen of the 2010s. Namely, self-isolating, thinking that they are better off on their own, completely ignoring their bodily needs and founding a communist state. So, after the trade died down more and more, the last Rasnos trade occurred in 1923 and with no trade in need of the pigeon, it just flew away waiting for the next trade in need. A truly sad time for linguists. Next up is number 777 because it's a little piece of heaven. Okay, okay, I'm stopping the bad music references, okay? Anyways, haven't you ever thought about, hey, how cool would it be if you just had chickens running around with sunglasses? Well, if you thought that, then first of all, what the fuck is wrong with you? And second of all, there were chickens running around with sunglasses. And many of them. That wasn't even the best thing. The best thing was, the sunglasses were there to keep them from being cannibals. No really, you heard right. There were chickens wearing sunglasses to keep them from completely obliterating their family. So the idea of eyeglasses for chickens was first patented in 1903 by a guy named Andrew Jackson Jr. and was meant as an eye protector for chickens. Because why not? But at the same time another problem arose as a consequence of the overcrowding of chickens. Because chickens in captivity, when not given enough space, have this interesting behavior of just pecking away as soon as they see blood. You can probably guess that that's not the best thing for the thriving and morally completely okay industry of factory farming. So somebody thought, why don't we just give them red tinted sunglasses? 
I mean, then they would look like Guy Fieri, that would be hilarious. Oh yeah, and they wouldn't attack each other, because they couldn't see blood with the red tinted glasses. Wow, you're a genius. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> but somehow these stylish accessories for the grandchildren of the dinosaurs are not really being used anymore today. I don't really know why, but I guess either they've grown out of fashion, or chicken can now talk things out amongst themselves without using violence. Whatever it is, I'm truly sad I'll never see a chicken wearing sunglasses. Unless... 100 likes now we'll find a chicken to give it sunglasses.